Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about percentage, base, and rate. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here the problem, what is 25% of 180? So before we start solving this example number one, tuturuan ko muna kayo kung paano mag-generate ng different formula at paano natin malalaman kung alin ba talaga ang nawawala sa isang problem. Kasi uh, most of the students right now, kapag naka-encounter sila ng ganitong problem, ay nahihirapan silang ma-identify whether ang nawawala ba ay yung percentage, yung base, or rate. So let's use this diagram or triangle diagram for us to generate the different formula for this given topic. So we have here the letter P, B, and R. So your P, it stands for the percentage. Yung B mo naman, it stands for the base. Yung R, it is for rate. Ngayon, paano natin ma-generate yung formula kapag ang nabawala ay yung percentage? So for the percentage, mag-focus tayo sa P. Your P, takpan mo to, P is equal to, look at the two variables, magkatabi sila, ibig sabihin yan, you will multiply them. So the formula for P, or the percentage, is simply P is equal to base times rate. So that is the formula if ang nawawala ay yung percentage. So what if the missing is yung base natin? So the formula is simply base is equal to, look at the process, or yung trick kung paano ginagawa. Takpan mo lang yung B natin. So as you can see, nakikita mo na lang ay yung P and R. Nasa ibabaw si P at nasa ilalim si R. Therefore, the formula for base is simply base is equal to percentage divided by your rate. So P divided by R. So we're done with the formula of percentage, base, and then let's go with the formula for rate. Kapag rate naman ang nawawala, guys, ang gagawin mo lang is you need to close this variable para mas madali ang kamag generate at kung mapansin mo, nakikita mo na lang ay yung percentage P and B. So nasa ibabaw si P, nasa ilalim si B. Therefore, the formula is simply rate is equal to P over B. Now, that's it kung paano gamitin yung triangle dito in generating the different formulas. Ngayon, punta natin yung problem natin. We have what is 25% of 180. In this problem, I will be using P is equal to base times rate. So, ang tanong, sir, paano nyo po nalaman that this one is the appropriate formula at paano nyo po nalaman na ang nawawala ay yung percentage? So, ito yung trick, trick dito. Dito kasi, para malaman natin nandyan yung percentage natin, kailangan yung number is associated with the word is. Yung base naman natin is associated with the word of. Yung R naman natin, syempre, makikita nyo naman dyan na meron siyang percentage symbol. So in this problem, what is 25% of 180? Meron tayo itong word na off, meaning this is your base. So meron tayong base. And then, ito meron tayong number with percent sign, meaning this is your rate. At ang nawawala natin ngayon dito ay siyong percentage. Okay? So let's start solving. Bubunayin ko lang ito. Solve natin. Okay. So, dito, yung percentage natin nawawala, copy mo lang yung variable P, and then your base is equal to 180. So, you'll be writing here, 180 times your rate. Pero, pagdating sa rate, hindi mo kailangan ilagay dito times 25%. Ang gagawin mo, you will convert this into decimal. I-move mo lang siya ng two, two decimal places papunta sa, from, from right to left. So that will be equal to 0 0.25. And multiplying this, P is equal to 180 times 0 0.25, it will give you the percentage of 45. The answer is 45. So that's it for example number 1. Now for item number 2 naman, we have here 24 is what percent of 96? So kung pansin nyo, ang tanong what percent Ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap dito ay yung rate. 
Greater na wala. Meaning, using this formula, R is equal to your percentage over the base. Ang gagawin mo, ang tanong dito, Sir, nasan dyan si person at nasan si base? Ito, since meron tayo itong word na off, automatically, this is your base. And then, since meron tayo itong is, this is your percentage. So, substitute the value of P and B. So, this will become R is equal to your P, which is 24, divided by 96. Yung iba dito, uh, minimultiply nila ito by, by 100%. Pero later on, tuturo ko sa inyo iba pang way kung paano siya gawin. So, simplifying this or dividing 24 by 96, it will give you R is equal to 0 0.25. At para maging rate siya, or maging magkaroon siya ng symbol ng percent, ang ginagawa ko dito is, minumove ko lang itong decimal places na to or decimal point na to from left to right ng two, two decimal places. So, you have your 1 and 2. Therefore, the rate is equal to 25%. Ibig sabihin nito, yung 24 is 25% of 96. That's it for item number 2. Now, for our item number 3, we have here 27 is 50% of what number? So, alam natin ngayon, aling variable or aling, aling quantity ang nawawala. Dito, meron, since meron tayo itong percent sign, ibig sabihin, this is your rate. And then, yung 27 is, ibig sabihin, this is your percentage. Meaning, ang nawawala natin ay yung ating base. So, given this formula, ang gagamitin natin ngayon, the formula, is simply base is equal to percentage over your rate. So, substitute lang natin yung value ng P and R. Your P, copy lang natin yung B natin. Your P is equal to 27. At yung ating rate, which is 50%, don't forget na kailangan nyo convert siya bilang decimal. So, the decimal of this one, or equivalent decimal of 50% is 0 0.50. Or pwede nyo rin gawing 0 0.5. And dividing 27 by 0 0.5, it will give you the answer of 54. This is the base of this given problem. So, I hope na in this video, you learn something about percentage, base, and rate. So again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa aking mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!